Hey guys, what's up? This is Victor. Welcome to your fourth tutorial in Backbone.js. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to listen for attribute change events. Let's get started. Let's imagine a scenario where we have a sandwich shop. And this sandwich shop sh sells sandwiches, obviously. And the default bread for every single sandwich is wheat. And if we want to change, if we, if we want to let the customers change the type of bread, we're going to charge them extra money. But we need to have some way that the, I don't know, the cashier knows or gets alerted in some way that some, the customer wanted to change the bread type. So this is a case where we, we would want to listen for change events, attribute change events, and do something about it. Alrighty, so let's get started. Um, first of all, let's create a new function within our sandwich model. We're going to call that function um, binds events. And you can call this function whatever you want. And it's going to be a function. And we need a comma right here. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to say when this model does something, and that something is that it changes, and we're going to say what changes after the colon, which is the bread, when the bread, which is this one, changes, we're going to do something. And that something goes after a comma. We say we're going to do a function. And in here is where whatever we want, we want, whatever we want to happen will happen. Now, we need to put our model in here. And this model refers to this, which in turn is this whole thing. So now that we have this, we can say my new bread is going to be equal to the model and we're going to get the attributes we're going to get the bread so now in my new bread we're going to have our new bread and we're going to alert the cashier saying hey the bread changed to my new bread. Now, next step is going to be to call this bind events function in the initialize function because nothing will happen unless we put something in the initialize function. All right, so to do that, all you have to do is say this, which is refers to this model, we're going to call a function within this. We're going to call the bind events function. All righty, so now that we have this wired up, now let's actually, all right, so first thing I wanna do is test it. Make sure that there's no error so far. To do that, you're gonna to go to your web browser. Let's assume that this is closed. We're gonna right click, inspect element, click console, and error, file not found. Huh, let me figure out that why that is and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what the heck happened, but all I had to do was refresh the website and the errors went away. I seriously don't know what's going on, but moving on. Um, I refresh and there's no errors down here. So let's go back to our code and let's, let's actually make something change, see if this event actually happens. So to change an attribute, we said we have to do something like this. We can put either brackets here, which I don't want, or we can to my sandwich dot set we're gonna set the bread or sorry that's not the syntax we're gonna do the curly braces we're gonna set the bread to jalapeno okay so now that we have this and we need a semicolon at the end let's refresh the page and what should happen is that it just it should say hey the bread changed to jalapeno let's see if I'm saying the truth there we go. Hey, the bread changed to jalapeno. Alrighty, now that we go back, let's try to change it one more time to something else. Let's change the bread to big wiener, because who doesn't like big wieners after all? Alrighty, now that we have that, we should change we, we should see two of these things happening. We should see an, a message saying, hey, the bread changed to jalapeno, and hey, the bread changed to big wiener. Let's see if I'm lying. Jalapeno, big wiener, and there we go. That's all you have to do to listen for change or attribute change events. 
and this should conclude this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.